Hi everyone, Marvaz here, welcome back to XCOM The Long War Beta 14. So, I'm going to continue where I left off, and a few things before I do anything. First of all, I had to trash one episode, unfortunately. It was a council mission in France for a panic reduction, so that means France won't actually leave the council. And the reason I had to trash it is because the audio was completely messed up. I spent a few hours trying to repair it, but it's just beyond repair, basically. So, I will have to exclude that mission. I didn't lose anyone. No one got any promotions, it was just a panic reduction in France. But I do have a lot of fatigue soldiers as a result. If I look at the list... Yeah, I have a lot of fatigue soldiers. I don't actually have a single mech trooper available at the moment. They are all fatigued or wounded. Ariadne is wounded for three more days. And I have abductions right now because I made the cut right after I got abductions. So I'll have to do abductions now. I think I can scan for activity? Actually, I don't think I can, no. I'm pretty sure I can't. I already scanned for activity. One day, one day... Yeah, if I had anyone coming back in the next few hours, maybe, I would consider scanning for activity. But I can't. Also, before I do anything, I want to make some more items. And specifically, enhanced beam optics. This is very cheap. And I might use more of these things. They are quite good. That will only cost me 8 alloys and 2 meld. Alright. Also, this is actually a 60 FPS video, as you might have noticed already. I'm not sure if I'll continue uploading in 60 FPS. If I do that, I'll have to make this episode shorter. Probably 30 minutes max. I will not be able to continue uploading like 45-50 minutes XCOM videos. This will mostly affect the XCOM series, because my XCOM videos are much longer than my average video, and my average video is already pretty long. So I'm not sure, if I continue uploading in 60 FPS, I will have to cap these videos at around 30 minutes max. I might upload two a day, when possible, just to compensate for the fact that they will be shorter. But yeah, I probably won't be able to do entire missions in one video, we'll see how it goes. I might not continue uploading in 60 FPS. I haven't actually decided yet. But either way, this is my 60 FPS video. So, once you're done watching this, let me know if you want to see 60 FPS. If you can notice a significant difference, or if 60 FPS, 30 FPS doesn't make a difference for you. Let me know in the comments below what you think about that. So, let's see. I don't have a single mech trooper for this mission, which is going to be... bad? <laughs> yeah. I need a strong squad. This was swarming alien activity. Might be an interesting mission. <laughs> Don still needs more experience for Master Sergeant. So I'll bring him. Actually, no, he's fatigued. Right, never mind. Who else needs experience? What about this guy? He's pretty good. He has 96 aim. He is not that close to promotion, but he has snapshot, so I think I'll bring him. Let's bring him. Other than that, let's see. Tyler will be my medic. He has dense smoke, so that might be useful. Does he have sonic training? Yes, he does actually. Okay, nice. Next up, what about assault? Hmm, do I want to bring a Tech Sergeant Assault or Master Sergeant? This will not be an easy mission. I think I'll bring Kerry. Yeah, let's bring Kerry. Next. I'll need a Scout. I need an Officer. I don't have a lot of Officers right now, actually. I might bring some. Yeah, a lot of my Officers are wounded or fatigued. Mostly fatigued. But Marcus is still wounded for 20 days. Conrad is wounded for 12. Let's bring Sam. He didn't see any action recently. I'll need some gunners. That's a no-brainer. I think Kelly is still wounded. Juliet isn't, but she's not that great. Still, she needs experience. I could bring Juliet and then some other gunner. Maybe. So she could take the Gatling Pulser and I could bring Kostya. Kostya has rapid fire and heat ammo. Okay, next. I need... what do I need? Well, nothing specific anymore. I have a medic. I have a medic. I have a sniper. I have an assault. Do I have a scout? No, I need a scout. 
Right. What about this guy? Yeah, sure. Oh, he's pretty close to Gunnery Sergeant, though. Tactical Sense and one more slot. An Engineer or a Rocketeer, I think. Oh, Arpit. Right. Let's bring Arpit then. He has Sonic Chaining now. That's going to be Repair and Extra Conditioning. He does have Smoke and Mirrors. I could give him then Smoke. But I think I prefer Extra Conditioning. Yeah, more hit points are important. There's a lot of damage from enemies like Ethereals. And I like the extra aim too. So, 80 aim, 9 base hit points, 15 mobility. That's pretty good. Now he needs Packmaster. Actually, no, he does have Packmaster already. Right, he does. He's a gunnery sergeant. So, EG's armor. I think I'll give him 9 alien grenades. I like having 9 alien grenades. Okay, 9 alien grenades and pulse rifle. I guess I could give him either a storm gun or a carbine. Carbine is plus 1 mobility. Does he have bombard or is that master sergeant promotion? That's a master sergeant promotion. So he can actually use the extra mobility. An 87 aim is okay ish. Alright, next, Ahmed. He needs titan armor for sure. And I think he also needs cutting plating on top of that. Because 15 hit points is really not great. Alright, so pulse rifle. Flashbang grenades. He doesn't have sonic chaining. So I can't give him ghost grenades or anything like that. I could give him a scope, I suppose. Okay, scope and some flashbang grenades. Next up, Kostya. Let's see. Aegis Armor, because his hit points are good. Auto Blaster. I could give him Neural Gun Link. I don't think I will. But the Bipod is for the other gunner. I could give him the Gun Link. That will be a lot of aim. Alright, screw it. Let's use the Gun Link. Alright, next. Juliet. That's going to be a fairly standard setup. So, Gatling Pulser, Armor Piercing Ammo, Alloy Bipod and the Scope. Not sure about that Aegis Armor. I might use Titan Armor, but she will generally be in the back. So, I think she's fine. Next up, Sam. Titan Armor for him. And Pulse Rifle. Is he Sonic? No, he's an officer. Never mind. Let's see, Enhanced Beam Optics. Because he can shoot twice per turn. And a scope. That's 109 aim. And what else? I can give him one more item. Makeup med kit? I don't think I need that. I could give him extra ammunition, but he has lock and load. I could give him a chem grenade. That's not a terrible idea. I'll need a chem grenade, at least one. So next up, carry. Titan armor, obviously. Scatter blaster. I don't think I want to use a blaster. Impact vest, breaching ammo. And more hit points. Yep. So, kiting plating. That's 22 hit points. 11 mobility is not great, but it will have to do. Tyler, Titan armor. And he's psionic, so I can give him a ghost grenade. He doesn't have smoke and mirrors, but that's one ghost grenade at least. I need one ghost grenade. I might consider making one more ghost grenade, but these things are not cheap and they require quite a lot of valerium. Let's give him a plasma storm gun. He does have paramedic, so yeah. Alright. And last but not least, Shimizu. He needs a promotion. Sharpshooter, Ranger, Tactical Sense. Let's take Ranger. Okay. Is he Sonic? No, he's not. All sniper rifle, Corsair armor. I think I'll give him some extra hit points because that's only 10. Scope and the battle scanner. Alright, looks good. I think we're ready. Let's go then. I'm not going to use an arc thrower for this one. If I try to capture any more aliens, that's going to be from crash sites. Not from missions like this. Crash sites are generally easier, at least in case of small and medium UFOs. 
Which map is this? To slow the spread of panic. I have no idea. This is Big Sky. Strike team has reached the Oh, this is the map used for the Furies mission. Is it? Yeah, that's it. Okay. And we're on the other side of it. Yeah, because this is the other side of that map. Where the mission ends. Interesting. Okay. Well, this will be a fun mission without a mech trooper. I need to be really careful about this one. Let's move then. No aliens yet. That's a good sign. Do I actually have battle scanners on my scout? Yes, I do. I will throw one then. To see if there are any aliens nearby. So, like this. That might reveal something. Like this. I have four battle scanners actually. Three on this guy and one on Shimizu. No aliens. That's good. That means I can afford to dash. And I should definitely do that. So, Costa goes here. Oh! There are some sectoids over there. And the mectoid. That's okay, I got full cover here. I can probably kill a sectoid. Let's see. I do have snapshot on my sniper, so he can move and then still shoot. I'm pretty sure I can kill a sectoid. Let's try that. 40% only, oh, never mind. Steady weapon then. Can I kill anything right now? Probably not. I can't even see him. Or them, from back here. Alright. Well, not much I can do on this turn, apparently. I got RP'd. He won't be close enough to throw a grenade. At least, I don't think so. Oh, he actually is! This will not be a kill, though. Seems like a bit of a waste of a grenade, honestly. Yeah, that seems like a huge waste of a grenade. I'll just use Overwatch. Not on this guy, though. Because partial cover only. Alright, Overwatch. I'm not too happy about triggering them, but whatever. I can deal with that. The Mectoid will probably get a shield. But maybe not. No? Another group, really? Okay, three mutons. At least these are regular mutons, not mutant elites. That's not too bad. But that's four mutons. A mectoid and three sectoids. And reaction shot. Go, go, go. Five damage. Not amazing, but hey, I'll take it. And I have no idea if I got hit or not. Yeah, it's annoying when the camera doesn't move. I can't see what happened there. Did he take damage? He lost cover, so that's not great. But that's a nice kill. He has zero cover right now. I guess he didn't get hit because then his cover wouldn't be destroyed. Yeah, he's fine. I need to kill that Mectoid. So, rapid fire with Kostya. That's 100% chance to hit. And he has hit ammo, so this should be maybe even a kill. 11? No, this won't be a kill unless I get a crit. But 24 damage. It's down to 10. I can get a kill now. Let's see, who's going to get a kill? Good question. I could use run and gun if I want to. I didn't forget about the mutants. I could also throw a grenade. I do have hit warheads on Arpit, so I could use a grenade against the mectoid or I could use a grenade against the mutants. Maybe. These mutants on the left have full cover. What else can I do? 20% on that sectoid. I wouldn't mind killing that sectoid. That's my only target, actually. Let's try. Okay, nice. So, what about that mectoid? It needs to go down. Juliet doesn't have a target, which is slightly annoying. That's because she can't sidestep to the right, I guess. Alright, let's move a bit closer. Oh, right, reaction shot from that sectoid. I did notice that. But I'm fine. The downside is that one of the mutants might throw a grenade. So maybe I should spread more than this. What else can I do? I do have a ghost grenade. I'm considering using that. Maybe. 
I still need to move with some. Let's try like this. I don't want to burn a running gun just yet. I could try mine frame, that's only 30%, but if it lands, that's the name penalty for that muton. It did land, nice. It's not an amazing aim penalty, but it's an aim penalty nonetheless. Still need to kill that mechtoid. I don't think Sam will be able to kill it, no. Unless he gets a crit, that's only 20% chance. Nope, only 5 damage. Yeah, the damage reduction is pretty annoying. Hunker down. Do I want to use a ghost grenade or not? Good question. I'm considering it. I think I'll do it. Yeah, I'm doing it. So I can try to get a kill on my scout. Shame he doesn't have flash. I really regret not picking flash on him. But oh well, the battle scanners are useful too. Now I'll use a ghost grenade. Not the most optimal use of a ghost grenade ever, but... Whatever. I'll use it anyway. So, like this. Okay. And I still got RP. He'll probably have to wait one turn. He can take a shot, but that's unlikely to hit. I'll just use Overwatch, whatever. So the mutants will probably target my assault. But maybe not. I'm not sure if they can see her. They might be too far away to see her. No, they can see her. So they will target her, but she'll be fine. The one on the right is an overwatch. This is a good target for a grenade now. And this is destructible cover. So I can destroy this and then kill both mutants easily. And hit the third one. Let's see. Now I need that grenade. But no bombard, so I need to move closer. Let's see. Alright, Tyler goes here. Oh yeah, overwatch. Right, I forgot about that overwatch. That was a little bit derpy, but I'm fine. That was with opportunist too. That could have ended poorly. So, RP. I still need to move Kostya. There's not a lot of cover around here. I don't like that too much. I need to move RP closer, otherwise I won't be able to use the grenade. Preferably where Kostya is, but then I need to move Kostya elsewhere. I could try to kill all of these mutants. I don't think it's going to happen, but I can certainly try. Alright, I'm actually going to try. Oh great, right, one more overwatch, damn it. Well, that was very derpy right there. Whatever. He'll leave. But I'm not too happy with this turn. Still, now I can use the grenade. And this should destroy cover. I can hit all four. Yeah, this should destroy cover and hit all of the mutants. I might even be able to kill them all. I can disorient the one on the right. I can definitely kill at least two, easily. Not sure about the one behind full cover, that might be tricky. Watch the flanks. Calm down, I'm watching the flanks. 90%, 90%. That's not a guaranteed kill. 65% chance to crit. I need a crit to get a kill. Yep, that's a crit, nice. So, Sam. 10 hit points on this guy. Yeah, I can't use running gun to kill that muton. At least that will still be fairly low chance to hit. I can't flank that muton at all. That's just not going to happen. I can disorient them both. Which is probably the best move right now. It definitely is. Let's see, Juliet. Oh yeah, that sector is still there. I should probably kill it. Or I can miss terribly. Hmm. Alright, run and gun. And kill this muton. 96%. Or do I want to kill the sectoid? 
I can kill the Sanctoid. Let's not take a shot yet. Yeah, only 60% really? Well, I'll take that shot I suppose. If I get a crit, that will be a kill. No. Only 8 damage. I'm keeping that flashbang grenade. So, Sam? No, he's not close enough. He can be close enough. So, 89%. He doesn't really need experience, so I'll take that shot last. I still got Kostya. Yeah? He should move out of the way. He should definitely move out of the way. That damage he took was unfortunate. <laughs> but it happens. So I should really kill this mutant with Sam. And then kill the Sectoid with Kerry. And then use flashbang grenade on the mutants. So, flashbang grenade. From back here. That's close enough. Alright, let's do it. That doesn't mean they won't hit anyone, but it's unlikely. I think the flashbang grenade is now 40%, not 50%. At least the movement reduction is slightly slower. I'm pretty sure the movement reduction is now 40, not 50. As of beta 14. Well, they aren't even trying to shoot me, so that's good. Now I can use yet another grenade. Are they going to be on Overwatch? I'll move my scout first to find out. Right. They might not get line of sight like this. This one is definitely not on Overwatch, because I can clearly see that. So let's throw that grenade. There are still more aliens in here, obviously. And they have to be somewhere close. This should be decent damage. It might destroy the cover on the left. It should. Okay, that was good damage right there. And now he's flanked. So this should be an easy kill. Can Shimizu get a kill? No, he can't get line of sight here. Alright, whatever. I'll reload then. Sam should probably reload too. But I want kills on Tyler. It's so hard to get experience for medics. Especially when you usually pick low aim soldiers to be medics. Who needs experience here? This guy does. Or I can just get holo targeting first and then try to get a kill with Tyler. Just don't miss. 20%. And that's a kill. Okay, good. 